Hey everyone, it's Daniel Brother Barbaris. In this next video, we'll be installing the Windows ADK, the WinPE add-on for the ADK, and we'll also be mounting the WinPE WIM file and updating it with the newest cumulative update. Now, if you're watching this video in the months to come, you'll notice that we downloaded the latest cumulative update for this month so if you go into your Windows ADK folder under CU for cumulative update, it's 5036893. So what you can do is you can right click and copy this. Okay, just click right click, rename it, highlight, copy, and then paste here. Okay. And of course, if you've downloaded a newer update, so let's say next month or within a few months, make sure that you replace the file name from here with the, the newest one that you've downloaded. Okay, and just click save. There we go. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to go to MDT01, Control Alt Insert. We're going to log in. Okay, give that a moment. We'll click on File Explorer. We're going to go to our G drive, where our share is. Down at the bottom, we'll go to Windows ADK. We'll go to the ADK folder, and double click on ADK Setup. Give that a moment. We're gonna install, next, no, next, next, and what we're going to do is we're only going to select the deployment tools and the user state migration tool. So if you go from the bottom here and just delete those and then click on configuration designer, it will remove that. And so we'll be left with the deployment tools and the USMT. Then just click install and away we go. And I'll be back when that's completely done. Okay, and the ADK is now installed. Click close. We'll click on here and we'll go to the Windows PE and double click ADK WinPE setup.exe. Click next, no, next, accept, and just click install. And I'll be back when that one's installed. Okay, and now that that's done, we're going to close the Explorer window. We're going to click on start. And you'll see the deployment and the imaging tools environment. I'm going to right click on this, more, and run as administrator. Okay. Now, from 49 all the way up here to 30, you're going to copy. So, what this is going to do is it's going to change directory to the AMD64 folder where our WinPE. WIM is in the ENUS folder. It's going to create a mount folder on the G drive. It's going to add the cumulative update to the WIM. Okay. It's going to clean up that image and then it's going to commit it and then remove the mount in the temp folder. Okay. So let's copy that and paste. And away we go. You can see it's mounting the image. That won't take too long. Okay. And while that's doing that, I'm going to open this up and I'm going to show you what we're going to do. Now, Microsoft removed the x86 or 32 bit um, portions of the uh, Windows ADK in newer versions, right? Because Windows 11 doesn't come in 32 bit. So if you look at what Johan posted, he has a way to fix that. And what it is, is MDT is still looking for the x86 WinPE underscore OCS folder. And all you have to do is create an empty folder structure, and then you're good to go. Okay? So we're going to do that, and that should fix our issue. Uh, we'll do that as soon as this is done with... Uh, 
adding that package. Okay. And I'll be back when this is done. We're almost there. Still processing at about 89%. Looks like everything was good. We'll be back in just a few moments. Okay, it looks like we're almost at 100% here. And it should copy our EFI files and then unmount the WIM fol folder and then remove those folders. So I'll let you know when it's done. Okay, it's copied those files. It's unmounting the WIM now. It's committing. And 100%. There we go. And we're good to go. All right. Just waiting for this window to go away, and then we'll head to line 54. Okay, and here we go. Let's grab from 59 up to 56. Copy that. We're going to right click terminal, click Windows PowerShell, and paste that there. There we go. And it's installing the management tools and WDS, and I'll be back when that's done. Okay, we're back and it's done installing the WDS service. We're going to press enter to exit. We'll go to start. We'll go to Windows Administrative Tools. Go down to Windows Deployment Services. Right click. Pin to start. And we'll open. Now what we're going to do is we're going to expand our servers. We're going to right click MDT01. Click Configure Server. We're going to go down here, next, integrated with Active Directory, next, we're going to make put this on the D drive, press tab, then next, respond to all client computers, known and unknown, next, okay, give that a moment, we're going to uncheck the add images to the server now, click finish, and we're going to close that. Now what we're going to do is going to right click our terminal on command prompt and we're going to fix our WDS server uh, service to delayed auto and set it so that it restarts three times or tries to restart three times if it doesn't restart on, on time and then we're going to restart the machine. Now a lot of people will tell you you don't need to restart after installing WDS. Well, yes you do, 99% of the time. So. I'm going to copy from 87 up to 84, and I'm going to paste that there, and there we go. And it's going to restart the machine, and once that's done, we'll start video 7, and I'll see you there.